When changing your life, I'm example. I'm show you the exact process of what it looks like when somebody changes their life, okay? This is you. Childhood trauma. Judgment of others. Old ideas, old thoughts. Perspectives you were raised with. Self-doubt. Maybe some addiction. Maybe an eating disorder. Things you don't really want to talk about but happened to you that you've tried to hide. Old beliefs and all the people that think you can't do it, okay? These things are all buried inside you. But you know what, you've got this much room and you're like, I wanna make more money. I wanna be a better dad, I wanna be a better mom, I wanna change my life, I'm ready to start a business. So you go out and you get yourself some education, some good ideas, some good, clean thinking. You wanna manifest, you wanna to connect to your higher power and you start to pour that in. And the first thing you notice is, oh my God, I'm putting all this good stuff in. Why is all this other stuff coming up to the top? Why am I feeling so crazy and so awful? Because you're building a solid foundation. You are uprooting all your old traumas, your old thoughts, your old ideas, and you are putting something else at the bottom for you to build on. 50% of people opt out right here because bringing any of these ideas any closer to the surface is so uncomfortable and the pain of healing is so great that at this point in their life, they go back to their nine to five, they give up the side hustle, they go back to the toxic ex and they go back into old behavior and they start subscribing to the idea that it's all a scam, okay? We're here. You're not gonna quit yet. You're gonna keep going because you know, you believe you have this burning and desire inside of you that tells you that you're meant for more. So you reach back out again. Maybe you get a mentor. Maybe you get a life coach. Now you're in therapy. Now shit's getting real. You've got all this stuff bubbling up to the surface and you feel like you are never going to make it. And one by one, you start to cycle through all of your old beliefs all of your old actions, all of your old ideas, and you adopt new healthy lifestyles. But all of your stuff is coming to the top. This much of you is now replaced with who you're meant to be. The person that is actually wanting to come out, wanting to thrive and wanting to shine. Another 30% of people are gonna quit right here. They're so close, but they're gonna quit right here because the burden and the weight of going through all these things is so uncomfortable that it's gonna set them back all the way to the beginning. So you're gonna keep going. You're gonna keep going, you're gonna keep believing, you're gonna keep knowing that everything that is meant for you is gonna be meant for you. And eventually, you're gonna end up here. Another 5% of people are gonna quit here. They will do all this work, they will put in all this effort, they will get all these blessings and receive all these miracles and still decide to quit right here because of the pain they've gone through. So my challenge to you, my friends, is to understand that if you've gone through all the pain, you've gone through all the hardship, all your stuff from childhood's coming up, you're adopting new belief systems, you're adopting new ideas, don't quit when you're almost there. Keep reaching for the good stuff. Keep pouring the good stuff in, and eventually, you're gonna end up being who you're meant to be.